What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to the next game we are going to be tackling with the series. We have had folks asking about this uh, pretty much since the very first time they even showcased this, all the way back to when this first got announced. Y'all have been excited for it. That is right. It's time for Biomute. Anyway, this should be a ton of fun to jump into. Um, all the previews that we've seen of this makes it look like it's just going to be a lot of fun. Uh, really, really slick combat How in an open world type setup. This be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Welcome to Biomutant. Uh, that's good, that's good. Scale is good. Quest marker. Do we have... Uh, do, do, do. That's good. Max... Subtitles, yeah, I think we're set. Let's go. Encode your DNA. Choose the breed. Primal has nimble developed anthropomorphic breed. Hybrid with gene mutation, making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of less intellect. Least developed breed, a hybrid offshoot that compensates the lack of mental prowess with physical strength. Extraordinarily developed breed, hybrid outcast with an even DNA string, making it apt for physical and mental. Regenerative developed anthropomorphic breed, hybrid with a gene mutation, making them tough and resilient. Renowned for highly evolved mind. Looks the derpiest with <laughs> genius is directly interlinked to the power of key, which amplifies her psionic output or Murgle definition of idealized breed. Lynch has gone in a direction where form and appearance have dominated over function. Is this just switching stats between them? Um, what do I want to go with? So this one, the strength goes down on Primal a lot. Strength goes up here with more melee damage from Vitality. This one is higher intellect. I'm thinking we'll probably go with this one. I think the type of build that I play. Power, key power, energy region. This, the strength is at, this loses a lot of intellect. But I get more crit chance and more loot chance, which is also nice. 28, 28. This has a bigger chunk of melee damage, but 3%, 4%, 5%. Um, it also has better barter at 10%. Let's go Murgle. Find your character's starting attributes. Uh, to see more detailed explanation of what effect each attribute has, press the menu button. Whoa, <laughs> this is weird. So I can make him super charisma. Super tanky. Comes the thick boy. Strength, he becomes super buff. Agility, 
gets the tall and skinny. This is so weird. Big brain time. <laughs> um, I'm thinking like right, right here. Like somewhere between vitality, strength, and charisma. My vit is up, my strength is up. Charisma is down. Where's the, there's gotta be like a sweet spot between it. Where my strength and my charisma aren't being affected. Well, I want, I want strength as a bigger priority to me than charisma. Let me try moving it with the, the mouse. Get that super precise. That's strength. So if I want to go right in between Prisma 21, Strength 21, that's like right there. And then it's just Vitality focused. Let's go. I don't want to lose any strength. So we'll go right there, I think. No, shit. I moved it. Hang on. Uh, there, there. That's enough. Okay. Choose a genetic resilience. <sighs> Radioactivity. What do these do? Resistance. So resistance to heat, to cold, to radioactive, or to biohazards. Um, let's go. You're you're good against heat and biohazards. Sure. Choose your first style. Oh. Look like an angry raccoon. Looks, let me just randomize it a couple times till I find one I like. Let's go for the angry raccoon look. Your main color. That's the color of my clothing. Uh, let's go. I want like a dark, dark blue, or like a bright, like a bright blue that could be good looking. Yeah, that looks good. Choose your detail. Oh, it's my face. Um, a little bit of orange. Or no, let's do like a gray. Yeah, like that. Pick a class. Ah, there's so much customization. Tricky skill for rogue whose life is society and values. Your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly. The magazine is granted twenty percent. Dead our commando. Ranged weapon attacks inflict ten percent more damage. Shoot a spark ball. Press down the input you have the ability bound to. Make it to the ball in the Saboteur. direction. Melee dual wield skill. Two different one-handed melee weapons. Your dodge energy cost is reduced by 20%. This, your base armor is increased Saboteur. by 10. I mean, dual wield sounds kind of badass. Commando. Dead eye. I like the idea of the perfect reload. Commando. Scythe. Um, Saboteur. Dodge energy cost is reduced by 20%. Let's do that. That sounds like the Dark Souls Saboteur class. Chosen. He's got high strength, decent agility. Let's go. Sounds good. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Dark red is in strength and power. Color me light blue for freedom and loyalty. Definitely going. I mean, I like blue, but strength and Allow power. Me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Can't believe you'd choose that thing over me. But I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart. That thing? I'm right here. Let me remind you, we're two halves of the same. 
With the difference being I'm the better half. Better half. My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. The best end is the one you decide yourself. And it seems we're headed in the right direction. Oh, a little bit of a, like a, oh god. Morality system similar to Fable. Are a somewhat dark. Guess left can be right sometimes. Oh, dude, dual wield combos are pretty dope. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Meat eaters meat. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Oh shit. Oh, that's cool. Oh shit. Baba daba. Uh -huh. Parries, jump attacks, dodge attacks. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Towards an enemy to target them with melee attacks, aim the camera towards an enemy to target them with long range. Reload your range, press RB. Key energy is used for dodging, using mutations, special attacks. When you're out of key, you can't perform these actions. It regenerates in and out of combat. So it looks like it's a soft target. I just gotta kind of like aim at who I'm trying to hit. Oh. Bunchy stabber. Stuff hits really hard. Oh, God. Sharp steel. 
parry saved me there. And as beefy as these things are, I might end up knocking things down to normal. But I'm almost dead. Just started the game. I think part of it is when you're in the middle of a combo, you can't dodge. So it's like... The combat made me think this is going to be like Devil May Cry. Um, with like instant dodging. But it's actually kind of closer to like Monster Hunter. Where I need to... If I'm in the middle of a long chain, I need to finish the animation before I can... Yeah, like that's what's getting me. Is Once I start that, that final hit combo, it's a little bit of time before you can get that dodge out. So I just need to remember that. I can dodge early on in the combo, it seems. On a weapon special effect add-on, attach it to your ranged weapon to give it extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Some enemies have a resistance or weakness, so use them wisely. Magazine size 24, electric 50. All right, let's just... To attach the special effect add-on, select it through consumable quick menu. To open the menu, hold up. Holding up, it's not doing anything. Might be because I only have one. Health doesn't automatically regen in combat. You have to use consumables. Okay. Holding the quick menu. Oh wait, hang on. Maybe it's... No. That's the heal. I don't know what the consumable was. Maybe the consumable would have gone on my, my up, but since I already equipped it, there's nothing to do there. Health back! Grab and pull. Oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Remember, parry enemy attacks. When the enemy attacks, you can see lightning bolts flashing above their head. The deep cut. Oh boy. Oh god, no. No! Ow! Get out of here. Chop, chop. We gotta go. I mean, the thing is, I need to defeat this guy. Oh, wait. Maybe he's weak to the, the lightning. Yeah, he is. Zippity zappity, bitch. Alright, with him down, now I can focus on you guys. Ow. 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 Stop that. Bombings can be looted for healing items. Highlight, finally, highlighting, press Y. For healing items when you're wounded. feeling that I need to... Yep. 
Get him to come over here and... Blowing up the oils. Oh, shit. for him to try to pick it up to toss it. Yeah, like that. Made it count. I feel like you can hurt the big guys a lot more than you can hurt the little guys. Oh shit, nope. Okay. That was that was a mistake. Ow, ow, should have never done that. Right in the face. Looking too good on health. Feels like we're still defeat the iron wall. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the ship with melee attacks before you can deal damage to the enemy. aren't explosive barrels. That one is, damn it. So I gotta look for the red on the barrels. Well, stop shooting me. Oh no, dude, the grabs! Oh my god. Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wung Fu and Perks menu. Menu, press start. You can increase attribute through choice. Pick the one you want to increase. So, what is melee damage? Overall speed, move speed. Damn, so if I do that, my crit chance goes up by 2%. My loot chance goes up by an extra 5. That sounds really nice. But an extra 10 to strength would be really nice right now because I'm doing melee focus. So maybe we do that. We, we get stronger. There are two pillars of Wung Fu, the core martial arts you start with and the weapon mastery techniques that you unlock with upgrade points as you gain from leveling up. You earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first. Um, I am liking 
close combat more. We need to learn and unlock special attacks for a weapon type in order to be able to achieve it. I'm going to go dual wield melee. All right, so I already have all these. That looks cool. We'll finish a dual wielding melee chain with a flurry of stabs. This is a special attack hitting an enemy with it. will fill one super wung fu icon. Oh, that looks badass. Well, let's grab this for now. So now I can go XXY. I have XXX. I have my jumps. I have my dash. I have my regular X's. Uh, once you've up more upgrade points, spend them on perks and special attacks. I do want to kind of look. Do wield guns. Do wield guns could be kind of cool. Oh, what? Look at this. Look at this devil may cry shit throwing your guns around them. Um, what? Show me some of the basic melee. Tap just before the enemies attack when you see. Wait. Attack unarmed or with currently equipped weapon. Dodge to attack rapid fury. Wooji stance. What is this? That didn't talk about Wooji stance at all. Tap just before an enemy's attack when you see to stun the enemy. Airstrike, spiral cloud, flying pancake. Kick an airborne enemy back down to the ground. So what is why? Controller. I don't see anything about the buttons. Oh, here we go. Mapping. What is why? Wong Fu. All right. I'm guessing that's a, a different tutorial we'll have coming up in a bit here. Considering I just got level two. They're probably going to... There's going to be a whole thing about learning Wong Fu, I think. Workshop. All right. Well, actually, looking at the time, let me wrap up here for now. Uh, this looks like it's going to be pretty nutty. It, it definitely has the makings of Devil May Cry kind of combat from what we've seen. Uh, either way, we're going to have more of this coming your way a little bit later today. Y'all stay tuned, and I will catch you soon enough as we continue on with more Bio Mutant.